Hello my, my cellmates. Today I'm going to do a little bit more uh, work with these Montmartre pre-made pouring paints. So basically you don't have to do anything. You don't have to add any pouring medium or um, silicone, anything. Today I am doing um, a dip well, my my um, take on a dip, a dip painting. Um, so you can sort of, I'll I'll go through. I'll tell you the colours as I go along. Um, I get these paints. They're great for anybody that doesn't want to have the, um, you know, if it causes them any stress, mixing up the um, glue and water or flow troll or and you're going to get a lovely uh, result each time. So it just takes a get, and they're gorgeous to do, especially this technique, a dip. They're, well, most techniques, they're gorgeous to do. I've done a few uh, in previous videos. This is one I'm just completed. It was a, you know, a pretty simple little dip on a negative space. So that was the dip in that I did. Then after it was dry, I embellished it with the Montmartre gold, which is, yeah, this this is the, yeah, Montmartre pouring gold. And it, this gold, I'm absolutely loving it because I have done another video showing how I embellished, but hopefully I'll be doing another one again. Um, quite simple, but I, this, I mean, is great used in your painting as I did in this one, but then I embellished it with this so um, that has just had one coat of the um, clear varnish which I was what did I put on this I did a mud podge which I put a, add a little bit of the mud podge gloss luster show you one second so this is what I'm finding that works the best for me at the moment the gloss luster luster mud pot what i do is i just put a bit in a, a, a measuring jug and then i just add a bit of water so you know maybe um just not much water just to thin it down a bit and i just find then uh, and then i use either a sponge brush and i have done another i have done a video sponge brush or a spatula to coat um but then if this has only had one coat and it just really brought the colours out lovely I'll give it one more that's all I'm not after any kind of glassy finish or anything but that just brought that up really nicely so that's just another little idea for you to contemplate um, I'm using actually two canvases I'm not sure of the size I know that somebody's going to ask me what was the size so it's 300 centimeters so how many where where are i yeah no it's not 300 millimeters so what's this stupid thing oh my god i'm losing me my husband is not mine that's that's his like mm, that's better okay 30 centimeters is 12 inches so 30 by 40, which is 16 inches. So there you go. I don't like that other measuring tape. That's not nice. So uh, today I'm actually going to use two together because I am going to dip the two. So I'm doing two paintings in one. So if you wanted to have something similar that you're going to hang on your wall together, this is the perfect way to do it so as you see i've coated the back of this one already up coated i've put my i put the masking tape on the back now as i've told you if you're in australia i have an online supplier and they're in the if there's a little v a drop down box there if you're watching your youtube on the tv you might have to go to your desktop to get the suppliers 
and my drop down box of information usually has everything that I use in particular pour in that drop down box. So my online supplier is, is in that one and I found them to be one of the most competitive and reasonably priced online. So they sell all your gear to do uh, painting and the big bottles of two liter uh, Montmartre paint. So this is where I got this, um, I get my masking tape and everything from. So just easy and convenient for me to have it all come to my home. So that's how I, I like to masking tape the back off. Not, I don't do everything, but everything that I think I will sell or give, I will mask and tape the back off just to um, basically finish it off nicely. So that's that bit. Now these are my tatty old push pins. I have got a new set, but I'm going to use these that I just like to hammer in the back. Just keep sorry about the loud noise turn it down briefly <laughs> sorry about that and then you go like that all good that is great surface to paint on actually that's really good so next stage is to put my gloves on because one thing I have found with these Montmartre pouring paints is they are really highly pigmented it's really deep colors so they really do stick to the canvas beautifully as you you know and bring and just come out such nice deep uh, vibrant colors but they can also color your fingers <laughs> so wear your gloves All right, so i'm going to put my gloves on and then we'll get on our way and i will just explain as we go along uh, the colors that I'm using on this particular one so very exciting very exciting I want to thank you thank you thank you all so much for um, well over 10,000 subscribers which is it's not the amount of subscribers I'm uh, worried about or I'm not worried about anything but it's just it just makes me uh, so appreciative of you all so thank you thank you if you subscribe but even a bigger thank you if you're watching my videos I'm just overjoyed that people finding them interesting to watch and uh, informative so if you haven't already please subscribe hit the button and please join me and watch my future videos and my learning processes because I definitely experiment. So this one is peach and I'm just going to use this directly from the bottle. So I'm going so it's nice and easy. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. So see how we <laughs> no preparation. I can just paint away very very easy little process using this paints I must say so that was the peach my next one I'll be going to the light purple I know you're always saying when I do my colors oh my god what's she gonna come up with next but I'm always pretty happy with the results I get so this is the light purple and um you notice I'm doing V's so this gives me a particular effect that I really do like so I'm gonna stick with it hopefully it will reveal itself to you guys in the end so throwing in the mix here this nice dark purple so uh, if you're in Australia um, and you can order these online it's it's so much easier for you all i'm not sure that i mean they will certainly sell these in the us these paints um i'm not sure if they're on amazon as yet i know the the two liters of my montmartre um studio acrylics are available now one thing which i probably should have done that i've not done on this is it's quite uh, useful if you actually coat the canvas first with one coat.
coat of your paint but I'm going to go with how I've got it now this one is the light aquamarine I mean look at the lovely colors they're just gorgeous really lovely colors uh, it's just sort of keeping in this V fashion for this particular dip that I want to do just doing the V this is also comes out gorgeous in really nice bright vibrant colors which you know I'm a lover of I have been trying to do a few pastel things because obviously lots of people like them um, but I'm just a lover of, of bright colors so that is the light aquamarine I'm going to put in some of this where's my dark blue um, okay the phyllo, phyllo, phyllo turquoise I'm going to put in here and that's the thing as well give them a nice good shake they need a real good shake to get those really beautiful vibrant colors um, mixed in there okay I've got, oh. so these can actually be mixed with the a bit of um, the Montmartre pouring medium as well because they are quite thick so some different techniques that don't need the paint as thick then I would um, dilute them down a bit with the Montmartre um, pouring medium so keeping this same try and do my corners I'm not worried about because these paints won't be tilted to, to go over the side so what I do is I just paint the sides of this particular the sides of the canvas when it's finished okay so all I want to do is just a little bit of black in there this black is very very highly pigmented so if you get this on anything it really does so just doing some splodges that's the technical term is splodges okay yes I've got my own little vocabulary going it's only me that knows what I'm saying I think but husband's kind of getting it now so <laughs> that's a good job after 20 years um, See, I'm looking at that thinking, oh, that's so pastely. I want to throw something in there to shout out, you know, but I'm not. I'm going to be a little bit more restrained. Like, I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous cadminium, cadminium red. But I'm going to save that for another day. And my beautiful gold. Absolutely gorgeous. So... What I do is I've got my other canvas the same size. I've got my tray ready to put the other canvas on. Notice clean, clean baking tray because it's new. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. So, so I'm getting stuff all over me already. Is I'm just resting the other canvas on top. So, and there probably will be areas that the paints haven't touched on either canvas but that is easily fixed so for the moment I should keep my hands nice and clean because I don't want to get the back of the canvas dirty because hence the um, reason that I tape it up so I don't have the back of the canvas dirty but I mean somebody's buying a, an, a piece of art from an artist they've got a you know it's paint it's not come off a production line so they can expect some paint here and there so this is just just gently pressing so it's actually where am I getting all this paint from oh the sides silly jilly again I was thinking where the heck okay so it's just gently not not too forceful but you kind of what you're doing is you're spreading your paint there to go on 
both of your canvases so it's just just gentle pressing to make sure you're spreading the love spreading the love we're just gently massaging the canvas Ooh, doesn't matter if you do have a bit of a wobbly Now you can, if you like, you'll see the drips down the side. You can sort of just finger pat the side so it then will coat your sides. You can do it that way or you can leave it so you just coat in the sides of your canvas and getting just finger finger popping it. Just, just dabbing so you'll get the mix of colours and it will coat the sides. I'm not too worried about the top one. Because I can do that afterwards or any of them afterwards but we'll just do that being so I've got so much runoff beautiful now fingers crossed people fingers crossed no it's gonna come out delish so I'll hold the bottom to hold it the bottom on oh okay Ooh. Pretty, very, very pretty. Look at that. You've got two for the price of one. See, how gorgeous are they? Those blues and light, that is stunning. That is stunning. Absolutely. Look at the little tiny cells coming up. Not that I want cells, but just those little delicate cells that are coming up no heat i'm not going to add any heat to this because i'm not after bringing out cells because look at those coming this will be a perfect candidate for when dry uh, to embellish it a little bit so i've just put that one back on there and that is gorgeous you know i could probably even press on it again for another but i'm not because i'm quite happy with that um that bit there is a little bit thick and I could press a balloon in but I'm going to try and keep balloons out of my paw um, doing them all the time because you know I just love my balloons so just basically go around the outside now I will put this video up like this but if you want when um, they're fully dry I will embellish them uh, probably not with the gold because I think the silver would work better in this particular pour um, with the silver but yeah that's so gorgeous I'm really happy with that look at that that's so pretty and the V pattern that I did brings out it's really good I've done one in this I'll try and find it I've done one in the really bright uh, peacock colors and then my son uh, he put a peacock in it so that all of this looked like the feathers so that looks really gorgeous but that turned out beautiful and all with these wonderful pre-made pouring paints don't have to do nothing so you've got a nice creation there and then and that's absolutely gorgeous gonna leave it not too happy with that I might have a think about that but at this moment in time it's gonna stay like that and I hope that that's given you a bit of inspiration um, to have a go at this lovely 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 dipping okay thank you so much for watching people thank you so much for subscribing I am so blessed to have you all uh, giving me lovely comments and encouraging me to carry on I appreciate it beyond words so thank you until next time bye for now